After extended product doldrums due to changing overlords, Volvo has emerged as strong as ever with the launch of the XC90 SUV for 2016, the impressive start of an all-new lineup developed under Chinese owner Geely. With an upright and bold countenance, the XC90 exudes confidence, and its nearly Range Rover rivaling presence, along with a full complement of features and technology, comfortably earns its way further up market than previous XC90s. Lest you think it's getting by on looks alone, the Volvo manages to pack more third row and cargo space, with hooks and tie-downs aplenty, in a footprint similar to peers such as the Audi Q7, the Land Rover Range Rover Sport, and the BMW X5. Unlike its competitors, however, the Volvo is powered solely by a 2.0-liter four-cylinder that comes in three strengths the turbocharged 250 horsepower T5, the turbo and supercharged 316 horsepower T6, and the 400 horsepower electric motor assisted T8 plug-in hybrid. Entry-level T5 models are five-seat only and come with front or all-wheel drive, while the T6 and T8 add a third row, except for the Pinnacle T8 Excellence model, which is a four-seater, and standard all-wheel drive. What's new, we've said before that the XC90's exquisite interior is worthy of a vehicle costing twice as much, and for 2017, Volvo concurs, launching the range-topping $105,895 excellence, an ultra-luxurious four-seat version of the plug-in T8 that more than doubles the XC90's $46,745 starting price. Also available this year is an output upgrade for the T8 hybrid from Volvo's in-house tuning arm, Polestar, which adds 21 horsepower and 30 pounds to foot of torque. And the Census infotainment system now includes additional built-in app integration, the most noteworthy of which is the streaming music service Spotify. This means songs no longer have to be funneled through a user's smartphone, and full control is possible through the XC90's 9.0-inch touchscreen. When using Spotify via Apple CarPlay, the app's functionality is significantly reduced. What we like, the decadently detailed and gorgeous interior including open pore walnut wood trim, which also adorns the sliding cup holder cover. In the elevated inscription trim T6 and test cars we evaluated. Here's another example of the above and beyond detailing, the stitching that decorates the leather dash and door inserts actually continues unabated behind the grab tab for the sunshades on the rear side glass. And the key fob is wrapped in the same caramel bay leather as the seats. We're also fans of the minimalist dash design, although it's enabled by packing almost everything into the complex but quick responding census touchscreen infotainment system, which will require some acclimation time, especially for those who aren't regular tablet users. Get used to swiping left to find audio and apps, right for vehicle functions, and down for settings. As with a just right mattress, at first the front seats seem overly firm, but the more time spent in them the more orthopedically perfect they feel, although there's not much lateral bolstering to hold occupants in place during aggressive cornering. Surprisingly, the 21-inch wheels and tires on our T6 didn't ruin the ride, and the steering is sharp and properly weighted. The XC90 also has a number of surprise and delight features such as a sunroof shade that automatically closes in hot weather, the ability to adjust the passenger seat using the driver's side controls, and an available built-in child booster seat in the center seat of the second row.